So guys, welcome back to Engineering Hack, where we solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. Today we're still looking at thermodynamics and neuronal thermodynamics, introduction to pure substances. Again, a simple problem just to get our brains going into in the um, theory of this. And in this problem we have a 0.5 meter cube cylinder that contains 2 kilogram of saturated water mix in equilibrium at a pressure of 125 kilopascals. We are to determine the system temperature, the quality of the mixture, and the mass of liquid and vapor. So we have a system, we just drew a little square here to illustrate our system. We have inside the system, we have uh, liquid water, liquid water, and we also have liquid uh, vapor, right? So vapor and liquid water over here. And the volume of this guy here is 0.5 meters. Given that we know that inside this 0.5 meters cube, we have two kilograms of this mix. And so straight off the bat, what we can calculate is the what is the specific volume of this mixture, because we know that's just going to be the volume divided by the mass. So in this case here is 0.5 meters cubed divided by the two kilograms. That gives us obviously 0.25, right? So 0.25 meters cubed per kilograms. Now, if that's the case, then we have two information, two state properties for this guy, right? The first one is precisely the uh, specific volume we just calculated, and the second one is the pressure, because the pressure is said to be 125 kilopascals. So with these two properties, right, with these two guys here, we can define this whole state. We can find any property we want for this state, any um, thermodynamic property. Now, the, one of the, the properties they want is the temperature. So there's what we can do is we can go down to the steam tables, to the um, property of water and steam, and find out what is the te temperature of a saturated mixture at 125. Now, there's two ways we can go about this. We can use the uh, classic Rogers tables, um, which obviously are consistent, but they're going to involve a bit more work. Or we can use something a bit more modern, like the sing singles um, property tables, which is going to be more straightforward. We're going to do both just to illustrate them and for you guys to learn how to do it on both. Okay. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a pressure of 125 um, kilopascals or 1.25 bars. right? So I need to go here on the property table and look for 125 bars. So you'll see that this is not going to be here, it's right here, right between these two guys here. So there's no specific value for 125, but I have one point, uh, sorry, for 1.25, but I have 1.208 and 1.433. So I can interpolate between these two values to get the one I'm looking for. And that's going to spit out my specific volume for liquid, right? Don't forget this is times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, but if I want it for the gas, I'm going to need it for the gas because after all, if I want to know uh, more properties, I'm going to need it for the gas too. Then I need to go to another table and once again do the same process. I need to find 1.25, so it's going to be between these two fellas here. So the properties that I'm after will be between these two guys here. Right? So, in other words, I know my temperature will be somewhere between uh, 104 and 107, right? Because I know 1.25 is between 1.2 and 1.3. Now, why would I use this table here? Or why would I use this table here? What is the difference? Okay. Now, the difference is that on this right one here, let me paint this in blue. Okay. The thing that I know is the pressure, and I'm extracting the temperature because of that. So I know the system is at, is at 1.25 kilopascals, or sorry, 1.25 bars. So this is the table that I'm looking for. If I had the temperature, I was looking for the, the pressure. Then I would use this property here because this one's giving me the temperature as let's say the main feature of this table, right? So if I knew the temperature was 30, for instance, or something like that, and I wanted to know the pressure, then I would go here to 30 and grab the pressure. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. So if I'm looking for the temperature, I want to go on this one here, and I want to interpolate between these two values here, right? You can see that the interpolation is quite simple, just the value in between the two. You can very uh, do that as a mean as well, but just to keep consistent with what we've been doing, let's interpolate. So pressure and temperature at 1.2, we have 104.8 Celsius. At 1.3 bars, we have 107.1 Celsius. So that means that at 1.25, I can interpolate over here. And remember that all we're doing is we're considering that the when we're going from one to the other, we're doing that in a linear fashion. So what we get out of this is that the temperature is 105. 0.95 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that will be the answer for A. Okay, how do I know that? Because I know this is a mixture, right? I know there's both um, gas and liquid there. How do I know that? Because the problem says so. Okay, is there another way for me to be sure if the problem didn't say so? Yes, there is another way, right? What is that way? Well, I know that my specific volume is 0.25, correct? And if I check here, the specific volume for the gas is 1.4. So this definitely cannot be just a gas because if it were superheated steam, right, if it were above the saturation, saturated vapor uh, status, then this would have a pressure, sorry, a specific volume of 1.428 plus, right, it cannot be sm smaller than that. On the liquid side, what's the liquid side here, okay, so I'm looking at the specific volume for liquid, it is 0 0.001048, and ours is 0.25. So I can write, okay, if I want to be very technical about this, I can write the following, following sentence, because, because my specific volume for liquid or F, if you want to use the same as the table, is 
25 meters per kilogram and for the gas. Okay. So because my specific volume falls between the saturated liquid and the saturated gas, then I know this is a saturated mixture. Okay, so I can be sure this is a saturated mixture. And because I know that, then I can be sure that my temperature, the temperature of this um, of this problem is between 104 and 107. And indeed we just found out that it is 105.95 Celsius. Okay. So let's go to a more modern table here. So we have a more modern table. This one is a pressure table. Okay, so like before, we know the pressure and everything else we're, we're getting from the pressure, not from the state the temperature. And we can go down to 125 kilopascals over here. And you'll note that it gives already the VF and VG. Okay, so we can grab straight off the bat the values for these two guys here. And you can see once again that our value of 0 0.25, 0 0.25 meters cubed per kilogram falls between these two values here, so we can be sure it's a mixture. We can also go ahead and grab straight off the bat the temperature that this mixture is in. Okay, so 105.97, how do we do on the interpolation? Very close, right? 105.95 using the older tables and 105.97. So if we were with this table here, our answer would be 105.97 Celsius would be our answer right there. Okay, brilliant. What is the next thing we're looking for? Uh, so this is answer 4A. Let me put here A. So, uh, B, the quality of the mixture. Okay, there is a mixture and it has a bit of gas and a bit of liquid. How much of each? Well, if you guys recall, we can calculate the mix, specific volume of the mix, by doing, there's two options, right? We can say the quality times the one for the gas, or whatever is left that is not gas has to be of the fluid, or the liquid, sorry. Okay, and another way to write this down, or another way to write this down is the mixture one has to be the liquid one, or I will just keep consistent, put F for liquid, okay? Plus the quality of the gas or vapor minus the liquid one, F. All right, so because of that, because we have all those values, we have the the mixture one, which is 0.25, and you can wrap this, this, and this off the table, then we can find x, right? So therefore x will simply be the mixture minus the liquid one divided by the gas one, saturated uh, vapor, and saturated liquid. All right, so let's grab these values of, of the uh, table. First one is we want to know the liquid one, so this guy here, right? We want to know this value here, sorry, this value here, and we know it's between 0.25, 0.001048 and 0.001052. So we can once again interpolate. So let's do it one more time. We need to interpolate. We'll do um, the pressure and the specific volume for the saturated liquid or VF. And we have 1.208, right? 208, what was it? 0.208 and 1.433. Or we could use this one as well, the temperature, either way, your call. And we have the values. So let me just go ahead and put the values. 0 0.1048 and 0 0.1052. I'll go ahead and put a little star here so that I remember that's 10 to the minus 2. And this is, I have 125 bars, so I can interpolate this. And that will give me approximately 1 point, sorry, 0 0.1049 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, again, if you have trouble interpolating, let me know when you can do a video on that too. And for the other one, so if I'm looking for, let's change color so that's not confusing pressure, if I'm doing it for the saturated vapor, uh, then my values are going to be 1.2, 1 1.3, and I have 1.428, 1.325, and again I'm looking for 1.25. So I could just do simple mean there instead of interpolating if I wanted to as well. And I get 1.3765 meters cubed per kilograms, meters cubed per kilograms. Okay, so now we have the values that we need. Remember, we needed this guy and this guy to be able to go in here and find the quality. So let's go ahead and find the quality now. Uh, V-mix is 0.25. That's the one we calculated in the beginning. Uh, saturated liquid, that is 10 cents to the 2, right? Minus 2. So that's 0 0.1049, which is 10 to the minus 2, and I'm running out of space. Just push this forward. divided by the difference between the two. And that is 1.3765 minus 0.1049 times 10 to the minus two. And that allows me to calculate my x, which is, what did I get here? 0 0.18099, and it keeps going on, so we can go ahead and approximate this to 18.1%. Okay, so that will be my quality. So I have, in other words, I have 18 uh, vapor inside this system and the remaining uh, liquid. Okay, so about 18% of this guy here 
is vapor. Okay, and the other, what is that, 82? 82% is liquid. Cool, so now we have part A and B. Do we want to do that on the other table too? Well, on the other table, it's more straight, it's easier, right? Because we already have the values there. So that's, that means that we don't have to interpolate anything. We can go up straight and do 0.25 minus uh, this guy here. So 0 0.001048 divided by this guy here, 1.375 minus 0 0.0048. Okay, and this will render the same, uh, what did I get here, 18.12, okay. So that'll be the answer if we use the other table. Cool, uh, last thing, last, last thing, part C. The mass of liquid and vapor. Well, that's the easiest one, isn't it? Because, where is our x? Here it is. Let me go ahead and copy that. Put that all the way up here. Okay, so if we know the quality is that amount and we know the total mass that we have, then it's quite simple because we know that the quality is just the mass of vapor divided by the mass total, right? Or in other words, the mass of liquid plus the mass of vapor, right? So we can rewrite this as, okay, 18% or 18.1% equals the mass of vapor that we're looking for. We don't know. And the volume is, sorry, the mass is 2 kilograms and over 2 kilograms. So therefore, the mass of vapor equals 0.36 kilograms. So the 18% of 2, right? And likewise, if we wanted to find the mass of liquid, because we know there's only liquid and vapor there, then mass of liquid has to be 2 kilograms minus the 0.36 kilograms, which equals 1.64. Okay, so the mass of vapor will be those 18%, which is 30, 0.36 kilograms, and the mass of liquid would be the 1.64 kilograms. Okay, so this is a very good problem for you to understand how to read some of the uh, steam tables, grab some properties, and understand a bit of this, this idea behind the mixture quality and so forth. If this helped you out, subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated with the upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, just let me know.